Hey there, Michaela with Michaela's Counseling here. Um, I'm going to riff a little bit about a modality I've been learning recently. Um, a way of helping people achieve change, um, a way that frankly I cannot believe has not been spoofed or parodied on the internet because it just lends itself to so much humor. Um, in my life anyway. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this being kind of a kind of an extraordinary way, I think, of uh, working with people, working with ourselves, kind of understanding blocks that get in our way. And um, and then I'm going to I'm going to do a little humor about this and uh, <laughs> show you how I've been applying it in places it doesn't belong to, to humorous effect. So, yeah, we'll do a balance between kind of information and fun here. Um, I mean, the the way of working is uh, it's really cool and it's intended to really help people find out what gets in the way of being happy, what gets in the way of being connected in a really short time period. Um, and it helps people access really deep emotions. Now one of the first deep emotions it helps people access is frustration. Um, I've never seen something that actually um, there is irritation in, in the initial uh, phases of this sometimes. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a good irritation. Um, I've, I've actually hired somebody to do some of this work with me because I don't ever, ever want to um, bring my clients on a, on a process, on a journey that I do not know what it's like to be on the receiving end of. Um, but it's fascinating. It is fascinating to feel like a really good alliance with somebody and to also just be to, to have moments of irritation, but like with something really good on the other side. So why, why does this irritate? Um, I think it's because, um, this, this is a way of actually helping people to see the, the barriers that they put up. And unlike some of the other kinds of ways that I've worked, some of the other kinds of ways that I've been, um, worked with, um, it doesn't it doesn't kind of try to get around defenses. It doesn't, um, and it doesn't look at your pain and necessarily try to like resolve it immediately. It's not very soothing. Um, it's pretty intense and it's um, pretty direct. And what's great is, I mean, there are there are beautiful safeguards built in, and um, you know, I, I interweave a lot of this kind of work with other kinds of work, and so there's just like. There's a lot of there's a lot of creativity in how people approach it, but it is um, it's a more unflinching look at actually what it is that you do, that um, that puts you in a place of isolation. Um, what it is you do that makes you feel like shut down, or what it is that you do that like maybe you're feeling shame and you like empathy for the shame, but your shame may be covering over like a lot of anger or a lot of other feelings. And a person in this modality isn't necessarily going to empathize with the shame so much as they're going to wonder, so what's this, what's this covering up? Like if we look a moment before, like, you know, is there somebody that you were, that you were having a conflict with before the shame came up? And if so, do you have any idea what your feelings towards that person are? Um, because often when we feel ashamed, we don't know what our feelings are towards the other person. And the reason is that shame it covers over emotions. It actually creates a wall. It creates a wall between me and me, between you and you. It also creates a wall between you and other people. And so um, a really, really um, neatly empowering modality. And now for the, the fun part. Um, so there's a there's a method that's a part of this, and it's uh, basically where you're calling out what somebody is doing that's getting in the way of connection. And so I have been voicing uh, my cat, who is um, uh, I refer to him as like a really high pressure kitty. Like he has a way of just hanging out, um, being like underfoot, kind of um, looking at me and my partner very intently when he wants something and just following us around. And so I've been voicing him the last few days as a person doing this modality. So he was outside the door earlier mewling to be let in. And the way that it would sound if he were a counselor with this modality would be something like, um, well, you know, this door, it's really, it's really making it hard for me to connect with you right now. And 
you know, I'm not saying that you need to open the door or anything. I mean, it's okay with me if you want to be on the other side of that door. I mean, maybe, maybe that's what you want is to not let me in. But I would just like to point out to you that I'm still here at the door. And, you know, I just wonder. I just wonder why you're not opening the door. And just wonder if you, if you would investigate that. <laughs> so um, it, it's very, very much like the style that you encounter in this kind of counseling. It's um, <laughs> evocative and powerful and also very, very strange, very strange, especially if you're not aware, um, you know, you're, you're meeting with a counselor, you feel disconnected from people, you have no idea that you're putting a wall up, you have no idea that when you're like looking up and trying to figure out what you're thinking a lot of the time, that that might actually be keeping you away from connection like you don't know. So sometimes you end up in this situation where somebody's talking to you about a wall and you're like, oh no, this isn't a wall. This is a scenic route of getting to the emotion you're asking for. Um, or no, this isn't a wall. This is a, this is a feeling that just comes over me all the time. What do you mean? What do you mean? That, that I'm creating this or that I'm doing this. And so I think that's where some of the irritation comes in. That's also where a lot of empowerment comes in when people realize, um, you know, and I'm not saying that there aren't scenic routes to getting to emotions or that there doesn't need to be a lot of flexibility. And, and often um, we get really, really well practiced in avoiding our emotions and kind of circumventing what's happening right there. And that does seem to be where a lot of people's like misery and their stuck places come in. So, um, in playing ping pong with my partner, um, started to do some of this where, you know, they're, they're hitting the net, um, as they're trying to serve the ball and I'll say, you know, it's okay. It's okay. If you don't want to volley right now, um, you know, it, it might be, I notice that you keep hitting the net. Do you, do you notice that you keep hitting the net and see, the thing is we just can't volley and you just can't earn points if you keep if you keep hitting the net. So I mean, it's okay with me, whatever you'd like to do. I just wonder, you know, for you, is there an impact of um and it's it's great. It really mobilizes my partner to play some much better ping pong. <laughs> because I think the laughter and that kind of that kind of frustration, uh, as you guys can tell, I have an amazing partner to hang out while I do like silly impromptu parodies and modalities I'm learning. But this one, I just, I can't believe there aren't videos about this because as powerful as um, as this technique is, it just, it, it just leaves itself wide open, wide open to, um, to a lot of humor because of the ways that it can be, um, that it can be confrontational because of the ways that um, it can step in really decisively in, in ways that you don't, you don't think that there is a problem or you certainly don't think there is anything that you're doing um, deliberately. But I will say, I think that this is a cool, a cool thing. Like if you are able to really look with your counselor at the things that you do that get in the way of you being happy or the feelings that you divert, um, you're going to get so much, um, so much further because it's one thing to go to counseling and really get soothed and really get like a new relational experience. And I'm all about that too. I'm all about kind of helping you find out where the gaps were for you growing up or what it was that you were missing. And at the same time, if that's all that happens, if, I, if you go to like a counselor who's learned to kind of step in and offer these missing experiences, the, the thing that can be missing for you is learning to also more actively engage in your own relationships. And that can leave people in this really hard place of like they're they're seeking soothing from others or, you know, they're they're trying to get an experience that really stays with them. And while that's important and foundational and life changing, sometimes, sometimes we don't realize that, you know, in our relationships, maybe we're getting in the car, but we're not turning the key in the ignition or we're driving ourselves into ditches. And so it's great, you know, to, to have some, to have some help and to have some nurturing and to have help getting out of a ditch. But isn't it even more great if you have somebody who's like, hey, you notice that you keep, you know, it seems like you're trying to go to the supermarket and yet you keep ending up in this ditch over here. Have you, have you noticed that? And to really, you know, find out like, is there a reason, is there a reason you're going in that ditch? Like, is that a choice to go in that ditch? Is that a habit to go in that ditch? Like, is there, you know, 
And like, why aren't you getting out of the ditch, by the way? Like, why are you staying there for so long? Like, is there something about it that, you know, is there a feeling around going to the grocery store that, you know, instead of addressing that, you go into the stitch or, you know, and, and a lot of really, really rich information comes out. So um, actually, I, I recommend this. I, I recommend working with, with, um, with this piece of things. Obviously, I do, or I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be learning how to work in this way, too, along with all the really lovely, nurturing, developmentally, you know, informed stuff. So Anyway, I hope that this has been fun for at least one other person besides me. Um, <laughs> offbeat humor with learning new things is always fun. And I hope actually this tells you something too, just about um, kind of another way of working with defenses, another way of seeing how maybe we all kind of block our own happiness and intimacy. It's not on purpose. And uh, there, are, there are ways of finding out what that's about and really, really breaking through. So. I will talk to you all soon. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, um, anything, and I'll be here in another week or two with another video. Thanks.